I'm disappointed. Considering James Gunn was responsible for two of the only good MCU films, I was expecting something. Especially as these characters are far more interesting on paper, but it just doesn't land properly. I actually really connected to King Shark. The underpaid sound and VFX department did a stellar job on him, and the CGI overall was a step up from what DC have previously put out. Margot Robbie continues to absolutely kill it as Harley Quinn, although not as great as Birds of Prey, which is still my favourite DC film. And Idris Elba also gave a fantastic performance, and I would really like to see more of Bloodsport, because his character is fairly hollow and generic in this. I saw the Sparks Brothers documentary followed by a Q&A last night, and that felt far shorter than this, because the pacing is all over the place. Despite having suicide in the name, the stakes felt very low. It was very predictable who would die and when. The costumes, however, are absolutely amazing and deserve plenty of meaningless awards. The cinematography was unique for a comic book film, but that doesn't mean that it's actually unique. Most of the humour is good, but nothing that will make you laugh out loud. Everyone loves a good bit of gore for some fucked up reason, but in this it just felt like someone's 12 year old nephew visited the set and was like, wouldn't it be fucking sick if the guy's head was split in two? Music choices had absolutely no impression on me, which is weird given James Gunn is great at implementing songs into the Guardians film. I absolutely loved that Warner learned their mistake and now let the directors do whatever they want, but I think they gave Gunn too much control. Everyone needs to be told no at some point. But yeah, see it if you want and make up your own mind, you'll likely enjoy it more than me because I wish I was in the Suicide Squad. <laughs>